everybody, it's Joel from Silver Arrow Cars and I am here with our beautiful final production 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha and Alpha is the most important part of this gorgeous low mileage Hummer wagon. That's because being the Alpha, this is one of, I think it's 792 or 729 Dyslexia kicking in. Six, 729, I believe. Final production. That's all they made for the Hummer H1 Alpha. And this is the big deal. So these were the trucks that they built with the new 6.6 liter Duramax diesel mated to the Allison 5-speed transmission, which is a mountain of difference between the original production Hummers and these guys. These trucks had everything and they were umpteen times nicer to drive than the originals. Way more power, almost 100 horsepower more than the previous generation without the turbos. So the Duramax diesel turbo. Uh, also the five-speed Allison transmission in contrast. Uh, a lot more uh, accoutrements inside and better finishing than the previous Hummers. And this one specifically is just 19,000 and change original miles and was one owner up until just about a year ago. So I'm just gonna walk you around. We've obviously got a massive photo gallery to show you of this truck and you'll see all the nooks and crannies on it, but we've got a nice day here in Scottsdale. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you all there is to see. So let's just hop in first as it's starting to spit a little bit. So as I know it, all the H1 Alphas came with the same interior. So there's premium finishing and leather, mixture of leathers and vinyls all throughout the dash. There's more venting, nicer paneling like you see here throughout the interior. They actually had a glove box now. This guy here uh, that locks. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Oh, there we go. Not a lot in there and not a lot of space, but nevertheless, that is a receipt for the new touchscreen that you see when we go around to the other side. But this condition of the seats, all really good extremely nice actually and then all the areas where normally your feet would kick or passengers feet would kick and scuff all very very clean on this one specifically so again it is the 6.6 .6 liter 300 horsepower Duramax diesel turbo it's got the monsoon stereo throughout with so multiple speakers all the way around the truck. Headliners in great shape all the way around. No big scuffs or stains or marks anywhere that I can see on it. All the switches and the panels are all in really good condition. Normally when you see these, and if you're gonna compare this against another one, a big thing to look at will be the condition of all those panels in the interior. Over time, they wear. And fitment becomes an issue. They're abused. People actually use them off-road. This one was a very coveted piece in this gentleman's collection. And all of the panel fitment and the condition of the panels is all really good. Central and tire inflation works just the way it's supposed to. I aired it up. They're almost bang on each other. And you can see the condition of all the knobs, all the switches, uh, the linkage and everything in the shifter is really nice. It's very firm, uh, lines up perfectly with all the indicators. Let's look at that. Driver's seat, great shape. Little nick there, should get that taken care of pronto we'll try and do that before the auction ask us and we'll confirm it all the stocks 
no massive play feel exactly the way they're supposed to steering wheel feels fantastic no big scuffs or, or uh, gouges out of the wheel all the gauges nice and clear foot wells the condition of the paint and the gloss to it throughout the truck and the exterior is really nice it looks fantastic driving down the road. Or walking up to it in the parking lot, I should say. All the carpets are in really good shape. No bagging or stretching on the back of the seats. That's nice. Obviously, you haven't been stuffed full of things. Same with these pouches. All their elasticity seems really, really good. Uh, same with that carpet throughout. I'll walk you to the back here. Now these doors, when you open them up wide, these guys here fit into the, I guess, rubber grommets. It's got a full set of winter mats. And the carpet throughout the cargo bay very much like new rear sliders on both sides all the interior lights work paneling along the rear doors So now let's walk around the outside. Stereo sounds fantastic, by the way. It's got really good sound to it. There's no uh, rattles in any of the speakers or the grills. So all the way around it, I've got really nothing to point out. Paint condition is phenomenal. I think this is just some wax. It is. All the window, it's all very nice. Trim going around. The wheel wells, tires are like new. Let's see if we can find a date code on these. 2021, you can see right here. And then getting into the nooks and crannies and looking around the suspension components, wheel wells. Super, super clean. Rear bumper. All the plastics, all in great shape, not super oxidized. This is obviously sat in great, great climate. See all these areas in and around these plastic pieces and the rear lenses, everything is in really good shape. The seals along the windows, all the rivets, emblems, a little bit of dryness around the seal, or maybe you would call it the gasket around these rear uh, handles. But all Really, really nice. Looks great with this color combo. Let's just close these doors. And then same thing. All the areas, <clears throat> all the joints between the door hinges. Just really, really nice exterior. One small scratch here, and I think we will try, and that should be able to be buffed out, no problem. Plastics in and around the mirror. That'll look great. Around the windshield. All the wheels are in really nice condition. No crazy oxidization or clear coat peeling. And then importantly, in the front, 
really no chipping to mention at all. All the paint in the front looks really, really good. This Hummer looks like very close to new. I will point out here, I think here, and another spot there, there's areas that look like maybe uh, bird droppings and they didn't get taken out quickly enough. Not very noticeable and certainly in the center of the hood. Again, all the acrylics, <clears throat> the side markers, uh, the front signal lights, the headlights, and even the bush guard here. Impeccable. Looks really good. Uh, the cable on the winch itself, not heavily oxidized, looks really good. Uh, the lead inside here, a little bit of corrosion on it, but that's normal as it gets chipped up from the front of the, the hoop on the cable and the hook. And then there's a look again into the wheel well. Really, really tidy. No corrosion to really point out. What a nice truck. So if you'd like to add one of these to your garage, I'd say this at 19,000 miles in the condition I just showed you, I think you're gonna have a very hard time finding one in this condition. Drives really well, just had a huge service. We'll upload that into the auction. Sorry about that. We're right by the private airport here, but we'll upload, we'll upload everything into the auction. Please use the contact seller button if you would like. Also, in regards to shipping, we can get it anywhere it needs to go. Please just ask us, and we are happy to oblige. Thank you very much.